Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Rohde coming at you live from the Greater New York meeting in New York, New York. We're at the Katie Knight Tarot booth. We're doing the fight for the better bite. Square off between traditional PVS material and the new digital impression machine, Katie Knight Tarot. Carrie, tell us a little bit about the Challenger. Dr. Rohde, we've been preparing for this challenge and this face-off for more than three years. We've got more than 850 iTero systems in more than 12 countries across the globe. And we're ready. We've placed 250,000 restorations, and today's the day. We're going to take down the PVS. Well, Carrie, let's meet our contenders. And in the first corner, we have Christy Kirby, champion of the PVS technique. This technique's been around for over 50 years. She has completely mastered it, goop and all. And the new contender, Brett Jacobson. Dr. Jacobson hails from Washington, and he is bringing a new technique with Caden Itero, the new digital impression system. Now, bump gloves, let's have a fair fight. And they're off, the battle has begun. Dr. Jacobson has already started his scan, while Christy is loading her cartridge, actually dropping it on the floor. That's not exactly hygienic. Dr. Jacobson is already getting his three-dimensional scan. Now, how does that scan actually work? You'll notice Dr. Jacobson's using the iTero system. It's parallel confocal imaging, and the best part is it's powder-free. Now, how does it capture the undercuts? It looks like he's actually able to roll the camera back and forth so there's not a single view that he's looking at. Dr. Jacobson's going to take three views of those teeth. He's going to take a buckle and a lingual, and he's going to shoot them in about 12 and a half seconds of total capture time. And his total scan time is probably going to be less than two minutes. Now, Christy is finally getting her triple tray loaded. She has not yet gotten any material all over her or the patient, but it is still early in the game. Meanwhile, Dr. Jacobson is moving to the opposing arch. He's nearly halfway done. That's a lot of material. The set time is about 90 seconds. Now, the patient kind of looks like he's struggling. He is not enjoying having this goop in his mouth. Absolutely not, Dr. Rohde. And the Itero patient, he's comfortable, there's no powder in his mouth, there's no goo in his mouth. Dr. Jacobson has positioned his practice completely state-of-the-art. Dr. Jacobson has moved on to capturing the occlusion of the bite. He's just about finished. Bite registration's done, and that case is going to start assimilating. So now what is happening in this processing at this point? The images are stitching themselves together, and we've created the lower arch scan. And in 15 to 20 seconds, we're going to see the upper arch scan come together. And the bite registration is completely done. You're going to see an occlusal map to let you know if you've reduced enough. It's immediate chair side feedback. Now, Christy seems to be done with her first impression. Oh, no. Did you know 36% of dentists report they have to take a remake at least three to four times a month with PVS impression material? Itero, you never have to remake it. You never have to take a second impression because you can see it and visualize it every time. Not too fun for the patient to have to go through that goop in their mouth again and again and again. Now the good news here is we have instant feedback on this impression. What happens now that we have this digital impression? That digital impression is going to go to KDent and we're going to mill a 3D model for the dental laboratory of the doctor's choice. And from there, the laboratory is going to provide an extremely precise and accurate restoration for the doctor. And the best part of that is most of our Itero doctors experience a remake rate of less than one half of one percent as compared to traditional PVS impressions, which have a lab remake rate of six to eight percent. Now, looking back over at Chrissy, it looks like she's still trying to convince her patient to take another impression, but it doesn't seem like he wants to do it. Would you? That stuff's just going to end up in a landfill anyway. Oh, Dr. Rohde, that stuff sits in a landfill for more than 50 years before it biodegrades. And with the iTero digital impression system, it's cleaner, greener, and there's nothing going to the landfill. It's a high technology product. Well, it doesn't look like Chrissy's going to have much success with that impression, getting another one done. But the iTero scan is done. We have instant feedback on how it looks. And without doing any rushing, we're already finished with this whole technique. I think Cadence stands out as the clear winner in this case. Congratulations to Dr. Jacobson, the winner of the battle for the better bite, accuracy and technology. Wow, Carrie, what an amazing matchup that was. We had some good competition today, but I think it was pretty clear who the winner was from the start. Well, you know, Dr. Rohde, we were ready. Cadent, we've got a powder-free digital impression system that beats the PVS goo every single day. We've been doing it 250,000 times, and we're going to keep on doing it.
Well, you saw it here, the new champion, Katie and I, Tarot. We're at the fight for the better bite. I'm Dr. Jeff Rohde.